Welcome back to Library Trust YouTube channel. In this class, we'll be learning how to make this Ip Illusion skirt. It's a very simple tutorial, as you have seen, and it's really beautiful. This is something you like to learn. Kindly stay tuned to the end of this tutorial. Thank you. Okay, so normally this skirt is this illusion skirt is placed on a basic skirt that you already have or a dress. So we're just going to be concentrating on the illusion part of this skirt. Okay, so you have your normal dress already using your actual measurement, and then for the illusion, you're going to be increasing the hip measurements to give it that coffee effect that we want so now i have my skirt depending on where you want your illusion how long you want it to be i want the total length of this illusion to be around 22 inches including seam allowance so i have it there so now the next thing i'm going to take now is my hip measurement the hip i'm working with is nine inches so i'm going to mark the nine inches there and then my hip to knee my hip to knee measurement is around 18 inches so I'm going to mark that as well. Then the total length is going to be 22 inches. I have my fabric folded into four, meaning that I'm cutting both my front and back together. So this is my fold point here, and I'll be taking my measurement from there. So the hip, the waist I'm working with is 28 inches. 28 inches divided by four is going to give me seven inches. So I have seven inches marked there, and I'm going to mark one inch for my seam allowance, so one and a half inches because I'm going to turn it out. Okay. So for my hip, my actual hip measurement is 40 inches. So 40 divided by four is going to give me 10 inches, which is here. So for the remember because we want to create that illusion effect we cannot use our actual hip so to increase my hip i'm going to be increasing it by one inch or 1.5 but when you're increasing it you have to be very careful because you want it to be as natural as possible so you have to be mindful of the waist measurements that you're working with you don't want it to look awkward so i'm going to be increasing mine by one inch so 10 plus one is going to give me 11 inches which i marked here and this is going to be my same allowance okay so here here, to give it that pencil effect you can deduct one and half inches from your hip or you just use what you used as your waist measurement on your knee length so now on my knee length here i have 10 inches i used 11 inches for my hip and my actual hip is 10 inches so i'm just going to deduct deduct like one inch from that or so one and a half inches now i'm deducting one and a half inches i'll half it and half and then i'm going to add my seam allowance so whatever i have there i'm just going to take it down to the hem like that so after all of this now i'm going to connect all of them together you should use your curve ruler for this but i just have my stretch ruler here i'm going to try to blend them in when i finish connecting all of them together so this is what i have now so now to blend this in i'm just going to bring in my chalk now and then give it that effect so you can see how pronounced the hip is okay so now we have shaped this out and then i've blended it in so the next one is to shape the center food okay so i later got my leg curve so i've used that to blend it in well so now for the shaping on the center food you're going to maintain your actual measurement here. you're not going to include your allowance remember we're going to use that to sew so this is the actual measurement and this is the allowance so now on the hem i'm working on that point and then on my waistline depending on how you want it to be i want the front to be together so i'm not going to be connecting up to the, my waist so from my waist i'm just going to go down by one and a half inches or two inches and then from there i'm going to take my cuff and then connect from here to here you can also use your free hand but because i just have this curve i'm just going to use it so now i'm going to connect from there all the way to the hem with the aid of my cuff like this okay so this is the new shape that i have so after connecting all of that the next thing is to bring in your scissors and then you cut out this shape so after cutting the shape out now you're going to bring your colors to remember this illusion effect is going to stand it's not going to be resting on the body it's going to stand on its own so for you to be able to stand you're working with this bridal satin which is a kind of soft fabric so for it to stand on its own 
you have to add an interface into it preferably a color stay something really strong okay so this is what we have by the time we open it out this is what it looks like so you can see this is what the front looks like like i said i want it to be together so for the back because of the zipper that's going to go through the back i'm going to slash it into two so i'll go ahead now and cut exactly this again for my lining remember because we are putting an interfacing we have to cover up the interfacing with something okay so we're going to be covering it up with our lining so this is the front and this is the back so i'll cut the lining now fix my interfacing to this and then bring it back to show us what we have so i'm going ahead to add my interfacing to the lining part i can see what i have so i'm going to trim off the excess now and after trimming of the excess i'm going to bring in my main fabric and then i'll lay it on the lining and then sew it all around to turn it so i'm going to sew it around and then turn it on the i'll turn that on the waistline which means i'm not going to be sewing the waistline so i'll do this for the front and the back then i'll bring it back to show us what we have so i'm going to have to sew them together now so the next thing you need to do is notch any necessary points so anywhere you have your cuffs or strap edges you notch them and then from the waist i'm going to turn it out so after turning everything out from the waist i'm going to take it back to the ironing table and give it a good press both front and back okay so it's turned and ironed now you can see how flat and nice it is looking so these are the two pieces that we have for the back the separate pieces while this is the one single piece that we have for the front so the next thing you need to do now is to lay the front and back on each other and then you're going to sew it by the allowance that you left on this side okay so i just decided to sew it like this you can also sew your lining separately and sew your main fabric separately and then use them to turn each other but this is easier okay so i'm trying to make this as simple as possible that was why i lined it separately so i'll go ahead now and sew it on this side okay so the side is sewn now as you can see so the next thing is for you to turn it out so this upper part here you're going to sew it to your half length if it's a dress and then if it's a skirt you can just join a band to it so that it can also be neat so when you're joining kindly join with the exact allowance you you left so that your hip is not going to be looking funny okay you need to look as natural as possible and it just has to rhyme with the with the waistline so now i'm going to bring everything out as we have seen and then take it to the same ironing table and iron it for the last time so you can actually leave your illusion skirt like this or you can sew a trimming on this center part if you have and you wish to so i have this gold trimming i'm going to go ahead now and then sew it on this center part then we'll take it to the mannequin so that we can see what this looks like okay so this is what the skirt looks like on the mannequin you can see that it has given us this hip illusion that we want so i just placed this on the skirt that i already have so you just place it on your basic skirt and then you sew them together on the waistline remember we do not have the zipper allowance to our hip illusion so it's place is not going to get to the zipper area on the back so this is what it looks like on the side i can see how beautiful this looks i hope you enjoyed making this beautiful tutorial with me if you enjoyed this let us know in the comment section like comment and subscribe to our channel and i'll see you in the next one bye